Hello people, in this video, <clears throat> we want to look at phototherapy, okay? So, as a treatment for neonatal jaundice, they are giving phototherapy. So, we have a complete video on neonatal jaundice. Look at that. In this video, we will focus on phototherapy. So, basically, you can see here, there is a baby under this blue light. And uh, this could be a warmer also to keep the baby warm, okay? It could have dual function. Basically, this is blue light, light right? So, it is, uh, textbook says it is blue-green light. <clears throat> the... Uh, wavelength is 460 to 490 nanometers. You have to write this in the exam. And what is this light doing? It is uh, isomer. It is causing isomerization of this bilirubin molecule so that it can become water soluble and it get, can get out of the baby, right? This is actually very effective and safe, okay? Uh, what they are doing? They are converting insoluble bilirubin into soluble bilirubin. <coughs> insoluble bilirubin is getting converted into soluble bilirubin okay so how does this happen because of some isomerization which isomerization configurational okay the z isomers of bilirubin are converted into e isomers z will become e okay so uh, this is uh, instant on exposure to light okay are you able to listen to me Okay, then structural isomerization happens. This is irreversible, they are saying. Irreversible. Okay, and uh, this uh, bilirubin is converted into lumirubin. Lumi means something like light, you can remember. Bilirubin is actually converted to lumirubin. I think this is more soluble in water, so it is going to be thrown out by the body, right? <coughs> and then what else? Photooxidation is yet another thing that happens in uh, phototherapy. Phototherapy, photooxidation. Okay, this is a minor reaction. Photo products are excreted in urine. This is something minor, mainly isomerization. Okay, what are the types of phototherapy lights that are used? You can use CFL and LED. Okay, this is what they are using now. CFL is compact fluorescent lamp and LED is a light emitting diode. Go to your new, uh, NICU or uh, go and see which uh, phototherapy uh, light they are using what is the um, exactly how many bulbs are there how far the baby is to be kept from this uh, uh, light all that you have to find out the baby should be kept in such a way that it is the light is falling on it perpendicularly okay and then at what uh, how much you will keep 30 micro watt per centimeter square per nanometer something like that are all the measurements are that you have to look at those and people, uh, the baby, uh, you should put only one diaper and you should cover its eyes, okay? You should put one diaper and you should cover its eyes also. Big diaper you put, it's better. You can cover the genital area and the eyes, okay? So that it will not harm the eyes, etc. Fine? I have to expose maximum skin to the light, okay? So whenever uh, you it needs to be fed, they will feed it, okay? Breastfeeding, etc. But otherwise, they want the baby to be under this light, okay? Then. You should make sure that the temperature is adequate for the baby because it doesn't have any clothes on, right? So the distance between the light and the babies should be around 30 to 45 centimeter, okay? So distance between baby, distance should be 30 to 45 centimeter. But you have to read the settings on each uh, machine, okay? You can't decide like this. This is what the textbook says. But look at the machine, understand its guidelines, what the... What do you call that? User manual says, etc. Okay. When will you stop the therapy? Once you find out that uh, you are measuring the total serum bil bilirubin and it is falling below the cutoff, then you can, uh, two times you will check and both the times if it has fallen below the cutoff, you can stop the uh, phototherapy. You will check 12 hours apart. Those two tests should be 12 hours apart. Okay. And then still continue to monitor the baby. What are the bad things about phototherapy? It can lead to skin rash and loose tools. I think it can affect the eye and genitals also. That's why they covered them, right? Okay, skin rash, loose stools, if the baby is not getting enough breast milk, etc., it can lead to overheating and dehydration, okay. Now, what are the cutoffs for phototherapy? Uh, basically, first day, five above 5 milligram per deciliter bilirubin, second day, about 10 milligram per deciliter, third day and beyond, if it is greater than 15 milligram per deciliter in a term baby, then you have to give phototherapy, okay. Then, for a neonate, the cutoffs are little less, okay. So, look at this. This one is for phototherapy here in the middle. This one is for phototherapy. So, 15, that's what we said, right? Here, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 
So based on 34 weeks, 33 weeks, 31 weeks, 30, 28 weeks, less than 28 weeks, if it is even if it is 5, they want to give phototherapy. Okay. Why this uh, jaundice happens, etc. We have covered in separate video, guys. You have to look at that one. So other option for uh, handling jaundice is exchange transfusion. This they will do only if there is very severe uh, bilirubin levels. They will do blood transfusion. They will take the baby's blood away and they will put inject what? Uh, negative. Same group, a negative blood group, they will give the baby. So if baby is A positive, they will give A negative blood to the baby. Okay. So this we have, we look at in separate video. This is just an alternative for phototherapy. In this video, what did we want to look at? Phototherapy. And you have learned about phototherapy. See, even the screen is blue. I am sitting in front of a blue screen, is it? Nice. Bye-bye.